Good day guys, this is day 26 of the 28 day adventure that some of us here at the Ontario Gorian Assembly have been doing. Uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about as far as the dangers of online gore. Uh, if you've been around at all um, online gore, uh, you'll find that there's uh, quite a few wing nuts and a few nut cases that are floating loose around. Um, I remember a few years ago there used to be one gentleman by the name of Chain T. And, uh, this guy was extreme to the nth degree. I remember when he was a, a moderator in Bear of Airs, uh, one of his roundtable groups, kind of things. And um, and Bear was gone for a while, and so he let Chain T take over and moderate the group. <laughs> and within about uh, two weeks, is that a lot of the people that had any opinions or opposed his had a different viewpoint. <laughs> they were all banned. Um, he went right on a tangent about as far as Gorians and homosexuality and, and at one point he had a little bit of a meltdown in saying that, uh, that all homosexuals should basically be put in compounds like what they were in Nazi Germany and, and the whole bit like he just went right off the deep end. Uh, the funny thing is is that people from, uh, from the round table none of them actually spoke up and opposed it is they were silent on that whole issue. Um, I was fairly uh, vocal about it, the fact that I didn't agree with it, but you find people like the Malkinius's, the Bear of Airs, the Nair's, the, the Krells and that, and that they didn't say a word. And um, basically lack of character and basically no balls, or maybe they actually agree with that concept, I'm not really sure. Uh, I mentioned about Nair. <laughs> um, Obviously, I've gotten underneath her skin because if you take a look at her activity feed over the last couple of weeks, is uh, I've been basically in her crosshairs. So she's been rambling on left, right, and center, and and just shooting off her mouth. And funny because this is coming from a girl that was so big on you can't be a bully and and you shouldn't be gaslighting and you shouldn't be picking on other people and and yet that's basically what she's been doing for the last two weeks. Um, there was another another guy a couple of days ago. Uh, uh, I don't have a clue who this clown was. He, uh, he goes by the name of uh, what was it again? There was a there was a, a pedophile out in Calgary that was part of Cope um, Warlock. That's it. Yeah, this guy goes by the name of Warlock as well. Um, a couple of years ago out in Calgary, there was a pedophile out there that. Uh, that was in the kink community and he was part of COPE which is one of the kink organizations in Calgary and I guess they ended up flying out to BC but he was uh, under surveillance by the RCMP so when he landed in one of the airports in, in uh, British Columbia the cops basically threw him in cuffs the whole bit and it created a huge upheaval in the Calgary area uh, I remember, remember that because I actually flew out to Calgary to be able to speak uh, to one of the girls that was actually out there that used to live in Ontario that moved out there and while I was out there I actually uh, had a small Gorian gathering um, had about I think it was eight people showed up for it and uh, I remember Nair she wanted to come out to it and I basically told her probably not a best thing uh, you know this is actual people that are interested in gore real life people and you probably wouldn't be welcome and if you did come out you need to behave yourself and not go on your tangents and your little meltdowns and your over emotional psychotic shit that she goes on. Fortunately she didn't show up. Uh, wasn't actually looking forward to meeting her because uh, it just would have been a shit show. I know that for a fact so you know, a little bit of a crazy crazy one there. So uh, so anyhow Warlock he contacted me uh, a couple of days ago basically on one of my, my my pictures basically going on about you have no balls and you have no right and you're not real gory and da 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 and so I decided to, okay who is this clown so I took a look at this picture and uh, the only thing I could actually see is a, a claim to the fame outside of trash you know a whole bunch of women that he doesn't know basically shaming them online as far as you know your tits don't look normal and this and that and is the fact that uh that uh, he had an online relationship about three, four years ago. You know, the guy couldn't get a real relationship, but he had an online re relationship, and he's going on about how oh, how much I loved her and she was my soulmate, and, and you know we were meant to be together. Where it looks like you never actually met her, kind of thing. So the guy's obviously a little bit unstable. Uh, looks like he lives in a shack in South Dakota, and. Uh, 
you know, Warlock, you need to basically step out of your little shack there and go see the world. There's a lot of great people out there, a lot of great places to go, and, and you might actually, you know, develop a life instead of playing around on, on, online. So, <laughs> one of the other things that I know that's really picked up, and, uh, and, and I still haven't changed my mind, they still haven't convinced me otherwise, is, is the group from Chicago. You know, they've been stepping it up as far as, you know, that I'm gaslighting and I'm attacking them, da da da, and how dare I do that, and how dare, how dare I actually have an opinion, you know. They obviously didn't know shit about gore, is because, you know, men stand up for what they believe in. It's called principles. And when you sexually assault somebody, kind of like, you are going to be held accountable. And my opinion is, is that you are an unsafe place you remain an unsafe place and the more that you you stomp and you hold your breath and you have your little temper tantrums and everything else the more it just proves the point the fact that you're dodging you're denying and you're trying to duck and weave away from the fact that someone was sexually assaulted at one of your, your events until you come clean on that I will continue to warn people there's been numerous people that have contacted me and I basically told them and they're not going to your events basically because they've seen the facts they believe the facts and the fact that you haven't stepped forward and basically been honest you know you talk about honor and about having integrity and yet in this situation not once have you actually acknowledged that a sexual assault took place until you do that the majority of Gorians are not going to come out to your events you're losing credibility and basically you're just becoming a joke um, which is unfortunate because Krell for the most part he seems like a nice guy but on this particular matter is he's taken it personal that it's an attack on him and it's not it's attack on the leadership that they made a shitty decision they did it on purpose and they're trying to hide and deny and become the victims in this whole thing they weren't fucking sexually assaulted. The girl was. You know? But this is all about them and poor us and, and Alex picking on us and he's not going to recommend us and he's a big bully and da da da. da. No, I'm just stating an, an opinion. And my opinion does carry some weight and I'm entitled to my opinion. For you guys to be able to say that I'm not, again, you know nothing about Gore. So, anyhow, that's another big joke. Um, another nutcase that used to be around uh, quite a lot, and I haven't seen him a lot lately, it was uh, uh, a guy by the name of uh, oh, Prey. That's it. And he goes by a new name now, Jarl Mark, I think, or Mark something or other. Uh, he's been taking on the enti entire Ottawa community, uh, as far as the King community. And so if you basically go into uh, basically just Ottawa town hall meetings. Or something to that effect he's basically on a major meltdown right now so he's uh he's nothing but a troll he's relatively harmless but he just seeks attention um, i remember a couple of years ago there was him dragon and, and rapture for about eight nine months you know i was basically in their crosshairs i was their their whole center of attention and they would just go on a regular basis basically just you know talking about me and, and taking shots at me which was quite comical because you're like little girls basically all huddling together you know and Alex is a meanie and Alex this and Alex that and da 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 and, and um, pretty well what Krell and, and, the, and the Chicago groups doing now um, me I just basically state my opinion you don't need to agree with it but I'm not going to take a lot of personal shots, you know, unless you're being a complete ass and a dick about it. If you come onto my profile or you're attacking my girls or you go after my children, which uh, I remember Chain T doing, is then yeah, okay, then it becomes personal and I'm fucking coming after you. It's that simple. Uh, I remember with Dragon. You, he went on for about three, four months that he was going to break my bones and he was going to put me in the hospital and he was going to cripple me and da 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 da. And it's like, okay, I'll give you your shot. You know, let's get together, sit down, let's see you shoot off your mouth to my face if you have the balls to do that. And we'll see where it goes from there. You know, I was willing to talk it out with him, sitting down, trying to come to some kind of a mutual understanding of what's going on in his head, but. 
<laughs> you know, never got to meet the guy. He was too busy ducking and weaving and carrying on about, oh, I'm friends with Hells Angels, and, and I've got a lot of family here, and I've got, you know, da-da-da, and I'm going to bring two or three friends with me to videotape, and, uh, and it's like, you know, it was a simple sitting down at a restaurant trying to talk things through. But it became this huge rah, rah, rah. And the more that he went on with the chest pounding and rah, 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 I was like, okay, let's go. Let's have at it. Uh, I find that with the most online Gorians is that they're like that. So basically, there are a lot of nutcases on, um, you know, online. You got places like Second Life, uh, you have places like Silk and Steel. Um, all, all those places they seem to have more than their share of nutcases and uh, the funny thing is, is that the ones that, that that are the most vocal are usually the ones that are most hypocritical you have the Nairs going on about as far as bullying or cyber bullying or whatever and yet if you look at her activity that's all that she's doing you have the places like Krell or whatever talk about as far as integrity and honor and yet, if you look what they've been doing concerning the issue of the sexual assault that took place, zip. No integrity, no honor. Just basically ducking and weaving and trying to make themselves out to be the victims. And again, anyone that's seen what's been going on, they are not the victims. They were not sexually assaulted, but they made it all about them. It's like, oh, you know, he's talking bad about us, and da da da. It's like, well, yeah, I am. You know, someone was sexually assaulted at your place, and you're denying it. You're lying about it, and you're ducking and weaving and doing the song and dance, but you're not actually just coming forward and saying, yeah, it did happen, we made a decision on it, and it was based on the sexual assault, not doing all this, you know, watered-down stuff. Well, the two guys that were actually involved, you know, as far as Garen and Malkinius, they're no longer here because they were mean to each other. You know, your first priority should have been the fact that the, the victim, she should have been looked after first and acknowledged, yeah, this did take place. And because of this, all these other things came into play, you know. But nope, is like no mention of it at all. The girl has mentioned it, is Garen has mentioned it. Um, one other girl came out that the post was deleted, mentioned it, Malkinius' slave came out, even mentioned about it, and that's when I got my, my one week suspension kind of thing, because as soon as I, I brought up her post, you know, Malkinius and Krell and, and the whole Chicago group basically went running the Fed like, oh my god, you know, he's actually saying things that, you know, that we can't refute because it was actual fact, um, you know. So anyhow, lots of nutcases online. Don't pay any attention to them. They're not worth your while. And um, they think they're important. They're not. You know, They might show up on your profile taking a shot at a picture or whatever. Just block them. They're not worth your while. They're basically nutcases. Um, they're over emotional, very unstable. And their whole concept of gore is strictly online. You know, their whole thing is when they wake up in the morning is logging in and oh my god what's happening what can I do what can I do kind of thing so but as far as going out and actually meeting other Gorians or going out to a Gorian gathering or actually having a life none of them do their whole focus is basically online uh, they're very protective of that online persona but they're all they're all a joke uh, you know the Nair's the this warlock guy uh, chain T was the same way um, you know, even uh, some of the people from Chicago Gore, you know, they basically are becoming a joke. So, anyhow, just want to share those things with you. Uh, don't get all hung up on the online stuff. Go live your life. You know, go out to a restaurant, take in a symphony, uh, go to the opera, go see a movie, you know, go for a walk in the park. Weather's warming up, taking a hockey game, whatever. But, you know, there's more to life than online. And the ones that live it online, and that's their whole existence, don't pay any attention to them. Most of them are basically nutcases and a lot of flakes. Take care, and we will talk to you tomorrow.